Bob's blog. This is Bob Babish, entertainment director over at Summerfest, and it's always fun getting to do these blogs. We get to do a few of them a year before the festival, and uh, it gives you people some insight on the music business and what goes on and how we book and why we book, etc. So let's get to it. We've got some questions that people have asked, and uh, let's see if we can answer a few of those for you today. It's a process that's done in our office here. It's, it's myself and Scott Zeal and Vic Thomas, David Silba, and uh, Whit Laneberg, and we sit in a room a couple times a, a week, and we get a list of all the bands that are working during the festival. And we try to, we're talk, let's talk for a second about the Grounds Entertainers. We, we try to make sure that we keep an eclectic lineup, meaning we have as many different formats as we can hit every single day of the festival so people can come down and walk from stage to stage and see different kinds of acts. So we find out what acts are working during the year and we start to pencil them in. It's like a giant chess game about what act works on what stage and what day they can work and how much money the budget is and gradually it gets sifted out till about the time we start announcing the whole lineup. Ever since we did Prince the first time, we'd been trying to get him, and unfortunately he passed away, but we tried for Prince every single year since he was here. We also uh, worked real hard on, on the Rolling Stones and Paul McCartney. We really wanted those two acts here through the years, and we were lucky enough to finally get them uh, last year and the year before that. So we just keep banging away. There's a few other acts that we work on all the time. We don't want to talk about those because we don't want to give that away in case we ever get those acts. I'm not sure exactly when that is, but it's coming up soon, I know, and we're trying our best to get it all done, but it'll be towards the end of March or into that first week of April. A lot of the acts are done now. We're just trying to figure out how to get them out into the public so and on sale. So you'll see those probably starting in about two weeks. You'll start seeing another one of those. As long as people are interacting with us on bands they want to see and the music business in general and Summerfest in general, good and bad. That is important to us. It means that it's important to the people that are coming to this festival that, that the acts and the lineups are things that, that work for them and work for the public. We're always trying to make our festival better and better and better and to get any kind of input from people is important to us. So we love that. I mean, even if sometimes we don't like it right away, but we love the fact that people are responding to to the different bands that can play here. We hardly get to meet any of the acts we book. We get to meet a few of them because some acts that we have played here many times in the past and get a chance to say hello with them. But by and large, we're excited about meeting the tour managers, the production managers, the tour accountants, everybody associated with the show, and we hope to work with them again in the future. We're excited to see all the acts that are playing here actually during Summerfest. That's part of our job is to go out and see the acts and see how they're doing. We never get to sit and watch an entire show. We get out and watch one or two songs here, one or two songs there, stop and see the acts as, as, as they go through the day. But uh, we like to see all the entertainers and that's part of the charm and we like to see all the fans out there. You'll find us all always wandering out on the grounds and stop and say hi when you see us because uh, we want to hear your opinions on whether you like the lineups or don't like the lineups. Um, other than that, I think that's all the time we have for today. Um, once again, as we always tell you, make sure you go out and see some live music. There's, of course, there's the uh, Rave, there's the Eagles Club, there's Turner Hall, the Paps, the Riverside. And don't forget this week, go see the Admirals game on Friday night because Cheap Trick is, is on right after the uh, hockey game. And it's free with a hockey ticket, so you can't go wrong with that. Bob's Blog signing off. Take care. Bob's blog.